Welcome to another video from Avenue X, looking at Chinese drama land in the past week. First, let's talk about dramas that have gone live. We have quite a few. On the first day of July 2023, we had a drama going live on the platform ITE, the fantasy period idol drama Chen Yuan, Divine Destiny, we've recently just talked about, Ma Tian Yu and Angela Baby. I've watched a couple of episodes of that drama and decided to quit. I really cannot find anything that's super entertaining or engaging of the plot. Yet another fantasy idol period drama. We somehow have way too many <laughs> in Chinese drama land. Then one day after that, on the second, we have the airdropped period idol fantasy drama from Tencent that everyone kind of is predicting is going to show up in summer holiday slot and it happened. Yu Gu Yao, the longest promise led by Xiao Zhan and Ren Ming, starts with four or six episodes on the first day and then two episodes every day and it's going to finish airing by the end of this month. And I've mentioned that in my Thursday video talking about the other Ren Ming led drama that's being aired on Youku right now. It is an even more, in my opinion, standard idol fantasy drama than Chen Yuan Divine Destiny. It's just such a standard recipe of character setup of the way it's done. Every aspect of this production is a standard Tencent produced fantasy drama. After watching a couple of episodes, I just decided personally I would not continue. Uh, I don't feel the drama can offer me anything that I couldn't find anywhere else. Then on the 5th, we have a drama going live on Mango Television, so it's a web and satellite television drama. That is the Wode Ren Jian Yan Huo, based on an IP novel, contemporary drama, English title, Fireworks of My Heart, led by Yang Yang and Wang Chuyan, who are now a real couple. I mean, she and her ex-boyfriend is in Longest Promise, and they're airing at the same time. So you see that ex-couple and current couple <laughs> going on at the same time in drama. This drama, I've been keeping up with it. It's about a firefighter and a doctor and they were sweethearts when they were younger, high school that age, and then something happened, they broke off, and many years later, they meet again. So far, it's okay. It's a pretty watchable contemporary romantic drama without too many logic problems and not making any sense, common sense of Chinese dramas. Although you can pick up certain things, maybe they can even do it better, but so far, I'm okay with it. This drama is directed by Li Mu Ge, who did Si Teng, who did Dong Gong. This is currently in Chinese drama land, the male director who is best known for being able to film his female lead to their best looks. He really understands how to make a woman look stunning on camera. So if you like looking at pretty girls being filmed to even prettier standard than normal, uh, you can check out this drama. Then. We have a drama that's being scheduled to go live tomorrow on Sunday on Ai Qi, and that is right now quite anticipated because it is that classic light on vibe Ai Qi drama. 24 episodes, it's a crime thriller drama. It's called Xiao Shi de Shi Yi Teng, The Lost 11th Floor, and it's led by Pan Yuanming. Chen Shu. So with these two names and their presence, this is already a series and will attract a lot of people to watch drama. Then it also features some younger actors that I happen to really like, such as Wen Peng and Yu Jiwei. Anybody still remember? <laughs> Ancient detective. He hasn't been showing up in much stuff after that, so I can't wait to see a contemporary drama with him in it. It is talking about a reinvestigation of an old cold case about an accident that has happened in a mine. Many years ago, a lot of people died and it got covered up. Years later, it gets dug out, and then we get this rather exciting case breaking drama with Pan Yuanming leading it. So, that whole day and night vibe. Although the second season of Day and Night is still in the making, it's not gonna come out probably until next year. We can have this one before that to whet our appetite. Fingers crossed, this is gonna be a good crime drama. <sighs> we need one. We need one, hey? This year, we haven't had a fully, fully exciting and exhilarating and satisfying one. Then, one day after that, on the 10th, a drama has just announced it's gonna go live on both CCTV8, satellite television, and Tencent and ITE called Ceng Shao Nian, English title Once a Youth. So that title is pretty straightforward. A group of people, when they were young, and then they grew older, and all the dramas that have happened, getting together, breaking up, get back together, <laughs> classic story structure, led by 
，张一山、关晓彤、范丞丞、李希瑞。Soon we'll find out if this one is worth watching as well. Now let's talk about a couple of other dramas that are at different stages of production. First, we've got a drama that has finished shooting during this week called. 半熟男女 in between contemporary drama 24 episodes on Youku metropolis setting romantic drama led by Tian Xiwei and Xin Yunlai. Also, this drama features quite a lot of well-known guest star who would just show up for a bit, but it would be interesting to see them, such as Zhou Yutong. Also, we have a drama that has started shooting during this week. Pairing drama. 爱奇艺 called 四方馆 English title Go East. On drama list right now, it's been very vague about what it is. But if you look at the Chinese title, 四方 four different directions, guan can be many different things. It can be a restaurant, it can be a gallery, it can be some form of、um, venue that does a specific thing. So that's what it means in traditional. Sort of Chinese naming of places. Looking at the way it's being introduced, it probably talks about a group of people who are specialized in one type of thing. And it's a Jianghu story. It is about their adventure and clever things they do to whatever. So it kind of is that type of drama. And the casting looks very interesting. It's led by Tan Jianci, Zhou Yiran, Du Chun. Kan Qinzi. I cannot wait for them to start officially promoting and then putting out posters and give you more ideas about what the story might be. Zhou Yiran and Tan Jianci, another pairing that I would never have imagined, but am very curious just by hearing about it. Also during this week, a pair of drama has gotten its license and it can air anytime now. But I think they're scheduling it for later this year, at least based on current rumors. It's an ITE drama Q4 this year. That is the Guo Jingming. Directed pair drama, Yun Zhiyu, My Journey to You, led by Yu Shuxing and Zhang Linghe. The assassin story that has already showed its quite interesting trailer during the IT Crazy Week, more than likely to come out before the end of this year. So those are the specific dramas related stuff. Then. Pretty much from last week to this week, we've had quite a lot of <sighs> explosive things happening in entertainment business in China. One is the idol Cai Xuquan. You probably have heard about all the ups and downs and all kinds of gossips going on. So he's kind of like semi house collapse. He's not officially. Banned by any means, but brand deals he's got and his presence in variety shows either evaporated or just get covered up, erased by post production. Another big house collapsing of a quite top traffic person in the entertainment business in China.、Uh, you can research that yourself. I don't want to go into details. It's just the normal, not pretty, but we kind of all know. Like entertainment business people do this all the time. Situation. The other thing that happened this week. Recently, that's very sad, which is the passing of Coco Li Wen. She's a true diva of the world of music and singing, and I don't even remember when was the first time I heard her name. It was a long time ago when I was little. I mean, literally, I would call myself little. One of the true divas in this whole business, and it's just so shocking and sad、uh, when it happened. The first moment when this news came out, most people are like in denial, or they think it's fake news, and it couldn't possibly be. Really shocked about what has happened. Then, before I go, <laughs> the、uh, very unfortunate thing, another thing that happened to Drama Land, Justice in the Dark, Guang Yuan, the adaptation of priest novel Mo Du, that has only aired eight episodes and kind of just. Stop there, and nobody knows what's gonna happen to it. Well, now you know what happens to it. It got pulled down, so now it's not on Youku anymore. I doubt the rest of the drama is ever gonna come out now. So it kind of is silently, quietly telling everybody end of BL adaptation era in Chinese drama, at least for now. Couple of years, at least. I'm saying like three, five years, maybe. After that, what's gonna happen? Who knows? But all those projects that got made. And didn't manage to air by then would become pretty irrelevant. We've had some good times and just treasure that and move on, because <laughs> you can't choose to go back. You can only go forward in in this timeline. Last two days, actually, I've been reviewing the edits I've made for Word of Honor. Over twenty videos of them、uh, that are. Now completely gone <laughs> on Bilibili and YouTube. That was such an interesting march I've had. Anyway, please take care. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.